hello beautiful people welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is oluchi iman on this channel i talk about cake business i share tips on personal development entrepreneurship i do story time tutorials and vlogs as well i'm an international award-winning cake artist that is based in manchester the united kingdom and you're welcome just in case you're stopping by for the first time i am really happy to have you here and i'm also happy to have you um, here for those of you that have always been here thank you so so much now in today's video i'm going to be sharing something that i know will be very very valuable and useful to most of us as bakers especially when it comes to our online or building our online presence and when it comes to content creation and our content marketing now what is this thing that i'm going to be talking about i'm sure you must have seen it from the title but if, if this is something you're interested in and you'd like to learn it's about caption writing some tips that you need to know when it comes to caption writing all right so we will go right into the topic don't forget to grab yourself something to drink and don't forget to like this video right away please click on the like button and then also subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe i will be right back welcome back now when it comes to caption writing there are a few tips that i want to share right here in this video that i feel will be useful and helpful to you in caption writing because people struggle with caption writing not knowing what to write not being confident enough even to write. They feel that when they write, they're boring. People will not read. People will not like to read their content. And this is so not true. <laughs> this is so not true because you, you haven't even tried it. Have you tried writing? And you know, people just, you know, whatever. The first tip I want to share, however, is that you should know what you want to write about. You need to have an idea of what you want to write about. Now, captions are those messages that you put after your content or that goes along with your content you don't put them after they go along with your content whether you're on tiktok instagram wherever you are those captions are very very important and they are very very key so the first thing is to think and have an idea of what you want to write what's your caption going to be about let your caption flow with the content okay so they should go hand in hand you shouldn't be going in opposite directions except you're a pro and you want to try you just want to try some razzmatazz but ideally but ideally your caption should be a reflection of the content so have an idea of what you want to write do you want to share a motivational post do you want to encourage people do you just want to inspire them do you want to tell a story about yourself do you want to tell a story about your business do you want to share valuable tips on on baking do you want to share valuable tips on relocating do you want to share valuable tips on whatever it is just have an idea of what you want to write that's the first thing i would say um that you should do when it comes to caption writing now the second thing is this as soon as you get the idea sometimes it comes to you in the in, in on the spur of the moment so if it comes to you that way you want to quickly write it down in your notepad i've talked about productivity tools that i use as a baker i've talked about productivity tools that i use as a baker and my notes app is one of them so i write my captions there there's sometimes i just when it comes to me, I just write it there. There was some time I was at work last week. Sometime I was, sometime at work last, last week, I had an idea for um, Val content creation ideas and I quickly wrote them down in the paper as they came to me. Five C's was, was, was what dropped in my mind and I just quickly wrote them down in the script and I've shot that video. I believe by now the video should be up. It's the reels I made. It should be up. So you need to write like that. Write it down so you don't forget. Sometimes stories come to me in the middle of the night or late at night and... I just write it. I start writing. The other day before sleeping, I think an idea came to me and I was making a voice note because I was too tired to write and I needed to sleep. So I just did a voice recording. So I was recording with my voice. Of course, you know you can do that, right? If you know you can do that, please let me know in the comments. Just give me a thumbs up or just say I, I can do this. Just, just put voice. Just do something to let me know or put leaves, put an emoji, something to let me know. So I couldn't type. It was going to take long. So I was just narrating it as it was flowing from inside. I usually get my inspiration most times at night especially when i want to write write lengthy like prepare for classes and all so i just did a voice note and that was how i was able to prep that concept my husband had to come and check in on me like because he was hearing voices from the he was in the living room i was in the bedroom he was hearing voices he came to check what's actually happening he needed to be sure so that is one thing i do so if the idea comes to you please don't let it sleep because if you give it some minutes you're going to forget it write it down take note of it and then you can flesh it out later you can build on it later if you can write everything all well and good if you cannot just make bullet points that you would flesh out later all right now the next thing is this to start small okay don't be so big on or don't be so focused on making lengthy captions or writing lengthy captions i want my caption to be long i want it to be long i want it to be you know all of that there's no rule 
there's no rule per se there are some people that post without lengthy captions there are some people that post even with no caption um these are influencers and all you know no captions and it works for them but for you who's just trying to grow your brand you're a green brand trying to build your brand and you you're just starting out with caption writing just start small it doesn't have to be lengthy put something that's inspirational so people even get quotes quote other people and then use it as you know um captions so it depends on what works for you start small don't put any pressure on yourself at all to write something long it is not by long or lengthy captions no it is not you can still put something that is short concise sweet brief to the point educational or inspirational and people will still fall in love with it so that is what you need to do start small don't be too focused on writing lengthy captions in the beginning now the next thing i'll be talking about is to infuse some emotion into your caption writing so you might want to infuse entertainment you might want to put some light-heartedness or light humor in between depending on what you're teaching i like my own style i like to put some humor in between or you can put some emotion that has to do with maybe empathy in it you know just try to put some emotion into it whatever you're doing and depending on the type of post it's not all posts that call for connection or call for you know having that emotion running through them for example if i'm saying oh book at bakers if i'm for example if i'm saying bakers advertise yourself in the comments or bakers if you have any questions let me know in the comments you can drop your questions in the comments there's no need for comedy in that there's no need for entertainment in that there's no need for laughter in that um if you're talking about challenges uh, people are going through in their businesses at ba as bakers there's no need for laughter in that so really really understand the context of the caption writing and then know what emotion goes with that sometimes it could be just pity sometimes it could be empathy sometimes it could be like i said laughter fun-heartedness or light-heartedness depends on what it is know what caption or what emotion to infuse into your writing it helps now one very important point is to use headliners headliners are those first few sentences that you see especially on instagram you see those first few sentences and it draws your attention so that headliner is also called your hook so when people see it they want to read more they want to you know know what's behind like what's under what's what's what else does she have to say so that is it use hooks use headliners you can also do that for your covers but that's not what i'm talking about like your reels cover but that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about using it in the captions use a headliner a hook for example five mistakes you're making in your baking or don't try this with your chocolate cake something like that so it hooks the readers it hooks the attention of the person who is reading and they want to find out hmm, what's 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 this person actually saying what does she have to tell us what can we learn from you know you know just learn to use hooks um it could be i made a a very i made a huge mistake last weekend use something that would draw them in and then the thing i want to talk about again that is very important is don't forget your call to actions whatever it is you're selling encourage people to to do to take action to click on link in bio to um give you a thumbs up to save to and that reminds me if you've not yet liked this video and you've gained from it it's not fair that you've not liked this video so please hit on the like button right away and subscribe to my channel okay do that right away please click on the like button and also if you want to say thanks the super thanks sticker is there please click on it say thanks if you want to support me via paypal my paypal details are in the description please go ahead and then use it Okay, YouTube doesn't do much for us as creators, but let me not even go into that. So please support your girl, support your favorite baker here and do that. Okay, so what was I saying? Use call to actions. All right. It could be click link in bio. It could be save this post. It could be shared to your stories. It could be um, send an email. It could be check our shop, our Instagram shop. It could be... Um, um drop me a comment ask a question something always make sure that you're putting a call to action to to encourage people to take action when they read your um and interact and engage with your content so these are the tips that i would share that i feel would help us or as bakers when it comes to caption writing and i hope that you found this video helpful and insightful until i see you in my next video stay happy stay safe stay blessed if you have any questions don't forget to drop them in the comments as well Take care and much love. No, it is not. You can still put something that is short, concise, sweet, brief to the point, educational or inspirational, and people will still fall in love with it. So that is what you need to do. 
start small don't be too focused on writing lengthy captions in the beginning what's the next thing the next thing i would say when it comes to caption writing is to make sure that The next thing I'll say when it comes to caption writing is to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, um, 